slicing in the Arena 4D plugin for Rhino. Um, currently using Rhino 6 in this video, although this interface um, applies to Rhinoceros versions 5, 6, and 7, so it doesn't matter which version you have, it will look and feel the same. So I've added a point cloud, you could add as many point clouds as you wish. Um, Snap is turned off in this instance because I want it to, uh, I want anything I do to be on the slice, not snap into any points that may be nearby. Uh, let's go to slices. I'm going to select top view. So the first important thing here is what are you trying to slice through? So I want to slice through this top section. And as you can see, uh, the name been given here to the view is top so that represents whatever you've named these so in this instance it's top um, I'm working in meters here and as you can see here I have a whip option of 0 0.5 now if I zoom in here um, it chooses colors at random I'm going to choose a color that's more visible um, this solid line represents the center of the slice and the dashed lines either side in this instance represents half a meter now if you were working in millimeters in your document and you copied what I'm doing here in this video this 0 0.5 would be half a millimeter so barely visible so just be careful that you understand what units your document is and what units you should be typing in width and step now the step is these buttons here so that's forwards and backwards through the slice um, and it's moving it one, which in this instance is one meter. Obviously, I'd probably like to make that much smaller. Um, you can type in zero values to make, you know, as you can see there. Um, the name, you can type in any name you wish. So you could call this elevation pipe work or pump work, whatever. The lock option does what it says. It locks the slice. You can have as many slices as you wish. So you may wish to lock just in case you're accidentally um, selecting. Enable does exactly that. The slice is either on or off. Perspective view, very useful. Um, that's showing me in this instance a half meter slice through this pump. Just turn that back off for a second. The attach is used um, if you're going to be drawings on the slice. Um, I'll show it in a second. The clip in, um, if you imagine, if you want to clip in, is where you select areas at a point cloud which you may wish to turn off and on. Uh, save those selections so you can do that. That's in another video, but the clipping means your selections are respecting the slice. Highlight, again, very useful. Um, we turn perspective off. It actually shows us. In the perspective view, um, where we are, where we are there. Um, just turn it off a second. And native means um, the slice will also, you know, uh, cut through Rhino objects, which I'll demonstrate later on. So what I'm going to do here is demonstrate the attach option. So if you can see here, I'm kind of my elevation is roughly halfway up this pump here. Okay, so attach is turned on. So what that means is when we do drawing, like reverse engineering stuff through Rhino, as I now draw, um, you can see here in the front view where my drawing is actually happening. It's happening straight along the middle of the slice, as you would expect. So finish that drawing there. If I highlight it, you can clearly see the, uh, the polyline is bang in the middle of the slice. Now, if I move the slice higher up over here, and I'm going to draw on this side, so here's the slice. Um, just zooming slightly there, just draw on these points. I'm not gonna spend too much detail here you don't need to be told how to draw in Rhino um, you can clearly see if I select both of them a one was where the slice was originally when I started the drawing and the second one is where I moved the slice to so what I'm going to do is turn off attach 
attach is unselected. Move the slice between the two on this elevation, so um, between these two slices. I'm just going to unselect those for a second and I'm going to start drawing another polyline here and as you can see, you can see it here already, the polyline is actually drawing where the slice was before I clicked uh, unselected the attach. So um, the slice now is not being respected, it is where it already was, but this is useful for moving through parts of the point cloud because you may wish to see other areas, um, say here for example, and draw this part here, but you want it to appear on that exact same uh, construction. So that's the the attach. I'm just going to remove these uh, these drawings here. Uh, so native. So what I'll do is if I add um, if I add a cube here, uh, let's move it over the point cloud. There we go. Um, so here's here's a cube. So if I now turn native on, you can see that the slice. As I let me just shade this on. Uh, if I put perspective on as well, you can now see that the slice is actually slicing um, through the native Rhino object. obviously as well as the point cloud there. There's many more uh, slice options that can be seen here and they were feature in additional slice videos.